It's great to be back in Fancy Farm in Graves County in the 1st Congressional District of Kentucky. If you love Kentucky politics, you are either here or watching this on TV. If you study Kentucky politics, then you will see that I'm on the stage with three of our state's greatest leaders. I want to recognize the most significant leader in the entire United States Congress, Senate Leader Mitch McConnell. Thank you, Senator. Next, I want to thank the two greatest leaders in Frankfurt who have led the charge to turn Kentucky around. My friends, Speaker Jeff Hoover and Majority Leader Jonathan Schell. Thank you, guys. Now, now I want to thank the Democrats who are here today. I'll admit, I really didn't think any of y'all would show. I mean, you guys really have nothing to celebrate since we were here last year. In fact, 2017 is on track to be an even worse year for Kentucky Democrats than 2016. Mr. Attorney General, I was going to make fun of the Kentucky Democrat Party today, but I'm afraid that you'll indict me for the abuse of a corpse. The difference between Republicans and Democrats has never been greater. I learned last week in Washington just how much the Democrats have lost touch with our Western Kentucky values when every Democrat representative in Congress voted against an amendment to ban the U.S. military from having to pay with our tax dollars for sex change operations for transgendered military personnel. What I have witnessed over the past nine months as your new congressman is that there are two vastly different political parties in Washington. The Democrat way of thinking is to grow government, create more welfare programs, and run up huge budget deficits. The Republican way of thinking is to shrink the size of government, cut unnecessary government spending, and move people off welfare and get them back to work. Republican real, Republicans realize that the number one issue is the economy. People want jobs. In order for Americans to have access to good paying jobs that provide health care benefits, we must grow the economy. In order to grow the economy, we must eliminate burdensome regulations, reduce middle class and small business taxes, and cut out of control government spending. I am so happy that we finally have a leader who understands these principles. And I am very proud to have a close working relationship with that leader, President Donald J. Trump. In the first six months of the Trump presidency and this 115th Congress, we have eliminated dozens of former President Obama's job-killing regulations, restored America's military credibility, confirmed countless conservative judges to the bench all across the judicial branch, and put American workers first and foremost in all policy objectives. As a result of this new Republican leadership, we are seeing significant job growth and a record stock market in other words, we have restored confidence in the private sector. Much work is yet to be done. Since the Democrats will continue to vote no on every Republican free market principle, Republicans must come together to fix health care, reform the tax code, balance the bu budget, and invest in our crumbling infrastructure. Thank you so much for giving me the honor of serving as your voice in Washington. I will continue to be an active, energetic, accessible representative, and I will always put American workers first. Thank you all, and may God bless the Commonwealth of Kentucky and the United States of America. Thank you.